Hi, and welcome to Ivy English. I'm Ken. And I'm Wesley. Today is March 1st, and we're on page six in your magazines. Our title today is Folding Paper. It's not for the weak. 好啊，今天我们这篇的中文标题是一张纸最多能折几次啊？那 folding 就是折叠的意思啊。那所以折叠纸，然后呢 ，it's it's not for the weak 啊。The weak 就是衰弱的人，瘦弱的人。所以折纸这件事情呢。字面上是说折纸这件事情可不是给瘦弱的人干的，就是瘦弱的人可没有办法折的啊。那我们中文标题是一张纸最多能对折几次。Right, when I see folding paper, I think of a book that I have on origami. O R I G A M I, origami is the Japanese word for folding paper. That's what I think of, and maybe I think of a Japanese crane. What do you think of? Oh, so that kind of folding, hey, we if we just hear folding, maybe it's just a kind of art. You can fold a piece of paper or something. Right. Yeah. And it's called origami. In English, I think that's how we say it. And origami in Japanese, I guess. So O R I G A M I. It's a word worth knowing. That's what I thought of first. But this is not a piece about origami. Uh huh. So here's what it is about: folding paper. It's not for the weak. How many times can a single piece of paper be folded? You can try it yourself. Take a sheet of paper out of a notebook, fold it in half. That's easy. If you fold it in half again, it's still easy. By the fifth or sixth fold, though, you will probably find that it becomes impossible to fold. In fact, there's a common belief that even the strongest person in the world can only fold a paper in half up to a maximum of seven times. Several years ago, a student named Brittany Gallivan proved this assertion false. She folded a piece of paper in half twelve times. How did she do it? Well, she wrote a whole book to explain the math behind it. In simple language, her strategy was to use an extremely long, 1.2 kilometers piece of thin toilet paper. Later, a TV show called MythBusters, which aims to uncover the truth behind popular myths and beliefs, also took up the challenge. They started with a sheet of paper the size of a football field. However, even with the help of many people and a forklift, they only achieved 11 folds. Some years later, a group of students managed to achieve 13 folds by adopting Gallivan's method, but using an even longer piece of toilet paper. Why exactly is it so hard to fold a piece of paper more than seven times? Well, each time the paper is folded, it gets twice as thick. Four folds is sixteen sheets thick, but twenty-three folds would be one kilometer thick, and forty-two folds would reach to the moon. So that's our reason. <laughs> Pay simple attention. math, right? Simple math, and pay attention to those numbers because we have a few questions after our reading, and you're going to need to remember some of that information. So back to our title again: folding paper. It's not for the weak, and we stress both of them because folding here is a fence. It is a、uh, what do we call a fence in English? Participle, present、mm-hmm. participle, right? And that behaves like an adjective. So folding. Paper 就是折纸过程中，而不是 folding paper. That's paper that we can fold, or paper that is good for folding.、Mm-hmm. So that would have a different meaning. We stress both of them. Folding paper, it's not for the weak. And we use this idiom. It's kind of a cliche in several several situations. So for it's not for the weak of nerve, or it's not for the weak of spirit. You can be the weak of something. You're weak in some area, and if you're weak in this area, then you probably shouldn't do this thing. So, not for the weak of stomach. For me, like a drinking contest, that's not for the weak of stomach. I couldn't take all that alcohol, for example. 好，所以英文里面呢，常常会讲啊、uh, ，it's not for the weak， 或者 that's not for the weak。那 the weak 后面还可以再加上字来修饰它啊。例如，你可以说啊、uh, ，that's not for the weak of nerves 啊，那就是这个神经不够大条的人呢，这不适合啊。那或者是 that's not for the weak of stomach 啊，那就是。胃肠不够好的人不适合啊。那刚刚 Ken 老师举的那例子是喝酒，那、啊、喝酒比赛了。那我想到是那个日本那个大胃王。Yeah, those two.、啊、oh my gosh. 啊，那真的是你的胃不够强壮的话哈、啊，那实在是不行的哈、啊。因为我是看过一个节目，哎，他
照那些大胃王的那个胃啊，它很厉害，它的胃可以伸缩。啊，所以他吃下去那么多东西，他的胃就无限的几几乎是无限的膨胀啊，<笑>所以很可怕。<笑> yeah. It's really 可怕。That is not a healthy thing to do. I don't care how you do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> so here is the body of the article. How many times can a single piece of paper be folded? 好，那他这里强调 a single piece of paper， 哈，就单单一张纸，你觉得它可以被折几次呢 ？You can try it yourself. And actually, there was a little ng here. The first time、mm -hmm. I said, "You can try it for yourself." I read it that way because it was so natural. Both are correct. You can try it yourself. You can try it for yourself. There's not too much difference between them. Is there really not much difference between them? You know, I kind of hesitated when I said that because usually when there are two ways of saying something that's about the same,、mm -hmm. are they exactly the same? In、not meaning, usually not. Usually not. That's what I've been telling my students. <laughs> That's right, and it's true of any language, not just English. It's true of Chinese. It's true of any language.、Mm -hmm. So thinking about it, in fact, there may be a difference between the two. The reason I said you can try it for yourself is because we usually say that when we're just curious, we have some time, we're going to play around with it and see. How it works. See if our idea works or not. We're just experimenting, and we have a kind of relaxed sort of attitude about it. 啊、哦，所以呢，刚刚 Karen 老师说这句话啊，你自己可以试试啊，或者你可以自己试试。英文呢有两个说法，一个是 you can try it yourself 啊，那一个是 you can try it for yourself 啊。那一开始呢 ，Karen 老师说，哎，这两个差意思差不多啊。那我就这个再请教 Karen 老师说，哎，真的差不多吗？因为其实呃，英文呃，中文其实也一样，就是两有一个事情，你有两种说法，那这两种说法一定会有一点点不一样啊，不然为什么要有两种说法？对啊，所以。大家现在学英文学到这个阶段呢，应该要开始去去探究，哎，两个都可以，那中间有什么差别啊？所以我，我刚刚就请教这个 Karen 老师，那 Karen 老师就说呢，哎，其实是有差别的。你如果说 try it for yourself 的话呢，通常是因为好奇心啊，你试试看，哎，是不是真的是那样子啊？或者是这样子做可不可以成功啊？这个就是 try it for yourself。那通常是比较放松的心情，然后好奇。Mm -hmm. But when you say you can try it yourself, it sometimes can mean the same thing. But my emotional reaction、mm -hmm. to it, and often these things 是语气的不同，然后背后的情绪可能有点不一样。Mm -hmm. The ideas that are called up in my head are a situation where I'm showing Wesley how to do something, and、mm -hmm. I say you have to do it this way, or you will mess it up. But Wesley doesn't really believe me. He thinks that his method should be okay too. I say, no, no, you better do it this way, or you're going to have problems. And then I might say, you can try it yourself. Ah,、哦、所以 try it yourself 比较类似中文讲的，你不信啊、哦，你自己试试看。就是这个语气。对，就是、I hope you are listening to Wesley's、uh, tone of voice. 对啊，你不信啊，那你自己试试看啊、哦，就是这种感觉。Which means it's going to prove that I'm right. 对，那你试了就知道我讲是对的，所以他会比较有一点那个呃，有一点冲突的感觉，有一点语气在里面哈、yep. 哦。但是 try it for yourself 的话，就是很 relax 哈，你试试看吧。你看，嗯，我也不知道，你试试看可不可以？或者这个不行，再换个方法。对，看看就试试看怎么样哈、哦。所以这两个还是有区别的哈、嗯哦。那这一点非常重要哈、哦。这个区别在哪里啊、哦？各位，英文你要英文要真的要学到好的话，这些东西你要知道，因为你要知道它的区别，你才能正确的使用。You have to watch your tone of voice because for this article, it's okay. I can say you can try it yourself, and I'm just being very nice and encouraging and polite. But in the situation I described with Wes, I go, you can try it yourself. Hey, 好，所以呢 ，try it yourself 在这个文章里面没有问题，好，但是有的时候会像我们刚刚讲的，他的语气是像说啊，不信你自己试试看这种感觉啊。Okay. 嗯哼。Next line. Take a sheet of paper out of a notebook. 好，那这个句子也很好玩。这句子在我们录音之前呢，我有请教过 Karen 老师。这个地方他说 ，take a sheet of paper， 就拿一张纸，那 out of a notebook， 从你的笔记簿里面拿一拿一张纸出来。那我就这个请教 Karen 老师，哎，我们可以说 tear a sheet of paper out of a notebook， 用 tear 用撕的这个字啊。那 Karen 老师说呢，可以，但是那个。That's right. And Wesley、mm -hmm. guessed it himself. He said, "Is that too strong?" I said,、yeah. "Yes. It's a bit violent. Tearing is a violent action." Yeah. 那用 tear 的话呢，其实是蛮蛮蛮暴力的啊！<笑>你这把它硬撕下来那种感觉啊、mm -hmm.。那其实在这里还有一点就是，这个撕这个动作在这里其实不是重点
啊，所以你用那么强的一个动词、right. ，It's distracting。对，而且甚至于 misleading。好，你要哎，为什么你要用 tear 这个字呢？啊，读者会有这种想象哈、啊，他就会以为你会往某个方向走，结果你后来没有做任何的发挥，跟他没有关系，跟他没有关系。所以这个地方用 take 就可以了哈、啊。那 Karen 老师还提到说，如果说像有的时候活页纸啊，你其实从活页纸、活页纸的这个呃呃那种笔记本里面拿一张纸起来，那个时候用的动词可以用 lift。Right, you lift it out of your three-ring binder, 就是那个活页纸的那种那种本子。What do you call them again? 呃，好像就叫活页簿。Yeah, 活页簿，活页簿，你要把那些那个铁铁圈要把它打开。嗯哼。然后呢，那个纸张现在就就就摊在那边。You just lift them out. There's no tearing involved. 啊，所以那个那个时候可以用 lift。那在这里呢，用 take 其实是最好的。那另外还有一个很好玩的问题啊，就是我们可不可以说 take a sheet of paper from a notebook? That's perfectly correct,、嗯、and it feels like you've just pulled it out, and they're still close to each other. 啊，那差别在哪里呢？用 from 的话，好像你只是把那张纸拿出来，哈，没有拿得很远啊，可能拿出来就、嗯、也许就是稍微放旁边一点点，那个是 from。Right. 啊，但是 out of 的话，拿起来就哎，就整个拿起来了。You're taking it somewhere else. 哎，你拿拿到别的地方去，拿出来用了那种感觉。Right, and that's a really worthwhile thing to look at. Yeah, 好，所以像这种东西，哎，很重要的区别哈，就因为其实我最近几年一直在想，就很因为有不少老师问我哈，那我自己也在想，就那像英文老师他会问我说，为什么我写出来英文？就是差一点点，就是跟跟外国人写就是不一样。那我也在想为什么会这样子啊？那当然原因很多，但是我觉得其中有一个原因就是我们其实，在学英文的时候没有学到这些细微的差别，所以你就会可能，例如说，在这个句子，可能有人就想啊 ，tear a sheet of paper from a notebook。那 native speaker 听就觉得有点怪怪的。It's not strange, but、嗯、就会有不同的想法。That's right. We probably、yeah. isn't the way we would have written it because it gives us some associations that don't belong here. 啊，所以。也许不是怪怪，但是他会有一些不同的想法，跟你要表达的不是那么完全一样啊。OK， right. So I want to add one more point to that.、Mm-hmm. And so some people might be thinking, well, it's going to take forever to learn all of those little differences one by one. Well, the way we usually do it is by listening, because if you listen to a lot of English from context, you will figure out which expressions we use in which context with which implications. So if you're listening a lot, you don't have to learn them one by one. You have already, you will have already internalized a very native-like feel for what we use in what situation. 好，那有的人就会觉得哇，那这个细微差别我怎么知道啊？好，第一个听我们常春藤，那<笑>第二个呢，你可以多听，因为其实你多听看人家怎么使用这个语言的，你就会知道说在这个场合之下他们是怎么讲。那以后你就会有一个 association， 就是你听到这个 out of 跟听到 from。你就会想到哦，他们好像拿得很远的时候会用 out of， 那就放在旁边可能是 from。绝对不是十倍一百万个不同。嗯哼 ，Yeah， 十、uh, 倍、yeah. is not the way you do it. You get it in context, it comes in naturally. 嗯哼 ，Next sentence, fold it in half. 对折，好，那 fold it， 然后一个加一个副词 in half。That's easy. 那很简单。If you fold it in half again, it's still easy. 如果你再对折一次，嗯，还是蛮简单的。By the fifth or sixth fold, though, you will probably find that it becomes impossible to fold. 你如果折到第五或第六次的时候呢？啊，但是这个 though 就是有点语气的转折了哈。那另外 by 这个 by by the fifth or sixth fold 这个 by 可以翻成到了啊，到了第五折、第六折的时候呢？不过这个时候你就会发现，你可能会 you will probably 你可能会发现大概。大概哦，对，大概这个应该用翻译大概就是更好的哈、啊。所以你大概就会发现呢，哎，变得 becomes impossible to fold， 你就会发现好像不可能，没有办法再折了。Did you do that when you were a kid? Try it. I didn't. <laughs> really, I have lots of memories of trying to do that、oh, really? because, like, we would write a note to our friend, and we、mm. wanted to make it very small to hide it and keep it secret. We'd fold it and fold it and fold it and fold it, and suddenly we couldn't fold it anymore. I I've had that experience many, many times. Oh, hmm, very fun. Maybe we di- did different things when we were kids. Yeah,、okay. I'm sure. <laughs> But this、mm. is when this resonated with me right away when I read、mm. it. I guess I didn't pass notes when I was. A kid. <laughs> it wasn't just passing notes, but we also folded paper to make objects and things like that.、Okay. So we would test it out. <laughs> There's another reason. My father was a printer. 
Ah. So he brought lots of paper home. Oh, so I, I played with paper. A oh, okay, lot. okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next sentence. In fact, there's a common belief that even the strongest person in the world can only fold a paper in half up to a maximum of seven times. 好，那事实上呢，各位，下面这个是个 chunk， 可以背起来哈。There's a common belief that 就是呃，一般相信，那很多人这么相信啊。There's a common belief that， 那后面加个子句。那在这里是很多人或者一般人相信什么呢？即使是最强壮的人啊 ，in the world， 即使是世界上最强壮的人，他可以折纸啊，把它对折 ，fold a paper in half， 把一张纸对折，对折几次呢 ？Up to 最多到多少叫做 up to。然后呢 ，a maximum of 就是最多的量是，顶多只能折到七次 seven times. That is not very many folds. 啊，这七折个把一张纸对折七次不是很多，感觉起来。I remember what I was thinking at the time when I was doing this. I thought it's too thick. I just can't fold it anymore, and the edges are too short. So、mm-hmm. I thought. Maybe if I had a very big piece of paper, I could fold it more. So I thought about these things when I was a kid. Yeah, 好，所以我想，我我用想象的，就是如果这样对折折到最后不能很难折，我会觉得可能是因为那纸折的太小了， right. 不好施力。Right. 好，那 Karen 老师他当初小时候也想过这个问题，所以他就觉得说，如果我有一张很大的纸的话，应该就可以折了啊。所以以为这是大小的问题，要施力点大小的问题，但其实不是。Yeah, I didn't think it was the only reason, but I wondered、mm. if it might be possible. Okay. Next paragraph. Several years ago, a student named Brittany Gallivan proved this assertion false. 好，那几年前呢，有一个学生名字叫 Brittany Gallivan。好，那 proved 他证实了这一个 assertion。Assertion 就是一个主张啊，一个声称啊 ，a statement。那通常是没有 support， 没有 reason 的啊，就所以这是一种声称的主张。所以他证实了这个声称的主张是怎么样？ False 就是错误的啊，所以 prove 的受词是 this assertion， 然后呢 ，false 是受词补语，好，所以这受词的状况是怎么样？是 false， 是错误的。I can't help but make an association with galavan， and that is if you add a t to it， it's a verb， and it means to be running around all over the place doing all kinds of goofy things、uh,。<笑> so I he's been galavanting around all day。啊，所以。Galavan， 你再加一个 t 呢 ？Galavant 啊，它的意思就是这个到处乱跑哈、啊，做一些搞一些花样、啊，对，搞一些花样这样子哈<笑>、啊。所以这个你顺便就背了一个单词了。Yeah. That's right. She folded a piece of paper in half twelve times. 那她呢，折了一张纸，对折十二次。How did she do it? 她怎么做到的 ？Well, she wrote a whole book to explain the math behind it. 啊，这个也蛮厉害的啊！这应该不是很很不是很复杂的数学，可是呢，他写了一本书，他写了整本书 ，wrote a whole book 来解释 the math behind it， 就这件事情背后的数学。In simple language, her strategy was to use an extremely long 1.2 kilometer piece of thin toilet paper. Now, the first time I said 1.2 kilometers. And the second time I said 1.2 kilometer. If I'm using it alone, it's 1.2 kilometers. What's the distance? It's 1.2 kilometers. But if I'm using it as an adjective, then there's no s. A 1.2 kilometer piece of paper.、Ah. So pay attention to how you're using it. Hmm. 好，所以 1.2 如果是一点二公里是个你把它当成名词来用的话，那要加 s 哈。1.2 kilometers. 但是如果说你把它当成形容词，那那它后面就没有 s， 就是 1.2 kilometer。后面再加一个名词，好像在这里你可以把它看成是个形容词啊。好，所以呢，简单的说 ，in simple language， her strategy was to 各位把它背起来，好，就她的策略是怎么样？就是 her strategy was to， 那我的策略是 my strategy was to 后面加个动词啊。所以她的策略是用一张 extremely long 很长很长非常极度长的一张纸，那一点二公里长的纸，而且是很薄的 toilet paper 啊，是我们的这个诶卫生纸。Later, a TV show called MythBusters, which aims to uncover the truth behind popular myths and beliefs, also took up the challenge. 好，那后来呢，有一个电视节目，哈，一个电视节目叫做《留言终结者》。那他的目标，这个电视的目标，就他专门干嘛呢？要 uncover the truth behind things。好 ，uncover 就是揭露，哈 ，disclose 或者是 reveal。好，揭露。一些真实的现这个实际的状况哈，什么东西背后的事实呢？是 behind popular myths and beliefs。好 ，popular 在这里可以翻成常见的哈，它常见的一些
迷失，或者是 beliefs， 本来是信念的意思，在这里可以翻成看法啊。大家常见的一些迷失跟看法背后，真正的事实是怎么样？那这个节目专门是 uncover the truth behind these things。那他们就接受了这个挑战。对，那 took up the challenge 就是接受这个挑战。你也可以说 took on the challenge， 也可以。Yeah. They started with a sheet of paper the size of a football field. 那他们一开始的时候是一张纸，然后呢，这张纸大小怎么样 ？Which is the piece of paper which is the size of 它的大小就是一个 football field， 一个足球场那么大的一张纸。In this case, it would be which was. Oh, which was, yeah.、Mm-hmm. However, even with the help of many people and a forklift, they only achieved eleven folds. 但是呢 ，even with the help of， 即使靠什么的帮忙，靠很多人的帮忙，还有一个怎么样 ？Forklift 就是一个堆高机啊。那即使是这样子，他们也只不过 achieve， 就是完成了十一折。Some years later, a group of students managed to achieve thirteen folds by adopting Galavan's method, but using an even longer piece of toilet paper. 好，那 some years later， 几年之后呢？有一群学生 managed to， 就是经过一番努力之后，终于达成了啊！他们做到了 achieve， 他们做到了十三折。那怎么做呢 ？By adopting, adopt 就是采用，采用某人的方法，采用某一个政策啊。所以他采用了 Galavan 的这个方法，也换句话说，用卫生纸，一张很长的卫生纸。好、啊，但是他的这张卫生纸是 even longer piece of toilet paper， 比那个 Galavan 那张还要更长的卫生纸。他们靠这样子做法，折到了十三折。With something that length, you would have to do it outside. I hope it didn't rain. 哦，那不能下雨啊，因为那纸那么长啊，而且我觉得他们有一点作弊的，你用卫生纸的特别薄的纸。<笑> Why exactly is it so hard to fold a piece of paper more than seven times？ 那为什么啊？到底到底这 exactly 在这里就是相当于中文的到底哈、啊？到底是为了什么啊？我们要把纸对折超过七次是这么的难 ？Well, each time the paper is folded, it gets twice as thick. 好，那每一次这个纸对折的时候，它的厚度就变成两倍。Four folds is sixteen sheets thick. 好，所以折四次就是十六张纸的厚度。But twenty-three folds would be one kilometer thick, and forty-two folds would reach to the moon. 好，那你折二十三次呢，就会有一公里厚。哈 ，one kilometer thick， 跟中文这个 word order 一样，一公里厚。哈 ，one kilometer thick。然后呢，你折四十二次的话，这个厚度就可以到月亮了啊！这实在很难想象。Yeah. <笑> I'll go back to a comment I made on the title. I said folding paper reminded me of origami, but we usually would call it paper folding. The noun is paper folding. So、mm-hmm. you'll see at the title of a book such as origami, the Japanese art of paper folding. Ah. So that's the usual translation.、Mm-hmm. Let's go to our questions. Number one, according to the passage, what is the highest number of times a piece of paper has ever been folded? 根据本文，哈，一张纸曾经被对折的最高次数是多少呢 ？The answer is C thirteen. 答案是 C 十三次。Number two, which of the following points is not made in the passage? 好，那以下哪一点不是在本文中提到的？ The answer is B. Galavan broke her own record of folding the paper thirteen times by using a forklift. 好，所以本文没有说到说这 Galavan 他用堆高机将纸张对折十三次打破自己的记录，没有讲到这件事情。That was not mentioned.、Mm-hmm. And number three, if a paper is zero point two millimeters thick, how many millimeters will it be after being folded five times? 如果一张纸是零点二毫米厚，那对折五次之后会是多少毫米呢？ You have to multiply the original number times two, then multiply that number times two, five times, and the answer you get will be letter B, six point four millimeters. 答案是 B 六点四毫米 And that's it for today. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. 